Listen, if your iPhone or iPad device has an email badge that looks like this, thousands or even tens of thousands of unread emails, let me help you out. I'm gonna give you some email tips to use on your iPhone, iPad, and really across all your Apple devices. And I'm gonna teach you one trick that will work with any email service that will change your life. I know that sounds like an exaggeration, but trust me, it's really good. All right, step one, we need to manage the notifications you get on your devices. You don't need a notification for every email. There's probably just a few important people that you wanna make sure you don't miss those emails. Here's how you do it on your iPhone and all your other devices. Open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad, go to notifications, and then scroll down to mail. Now, if you really want to have that red badge there, you can leave that toggle checked. I actually leave the notification center off if I get an email, I'll see it on the lock screen. I'll see the banner come down from the top. I don't need them to stay in the notification center just to dismiss them later. But here's the powerful thing. If you have multiple email accounts set up on your device, go to customize notifications. Here you can actually decide what notifications come through per email account. Let's say you want your iCloud account to show you those alerts and badges. You can choose a custom sound just for this email account or maybe disable badges, and then you can leave badges enabled for another account. But here's what I do. I leave all those notifications off and just allow notifications for VIP. VIP is a feature that will sync across all of your Apple devices, your Mac, iPad, and iPhone, and you can designate specific contacts as VIP. This way, when you get an email from any of their email addresses, those will be the only notifications that come through on your device. And here you can even set a special sound just for your VIP contacts, and then you can choose to have alerts and badges, but again, only from your VIP contacts. To set a contact as VIP, open the mail app on one of your devices, doesn't matter, iPhone, iPad, they'll all sync. Go back to see your accounts and mailboxes view in the sidebar, and here you'll see VIP. Tap the little eye icon, and then you'll be able to see all of your list of VIP contacts. You can then choose to edit this list, you can remove people from this list, or scrolling all the way down, you can go to add VIP. Tap the Add VIP option, and then you can choose any of your contacts to become a VIP. Now, whenever I get an email from any of the email addresses associated with that contact, that's the only time I'll get a mail notification, really filtering it to just the most important people. Now, this next trick everyone can use, whether you're an Apple or Android user, doesn't matter. This is actually an email filter you're gonna set up in your email accounts. Whether you use Gmail, Outlook, Hotmail still, that's fine, we won't judge you. You can set up this filter anywhere and this is literally going to change your life. Trust me. I'm gonna do this in Gmail, but you can also set up these rules in Outlook or other email services. I'm gonna to go to the settings and then go to create a new email filter. Here under filters and blocked addresses, I'm gonna scroll down and create a new filter. Now in these filter settings where it says has the words, I'm going to type unsubscribe. Then I'm gonna create this filter. What that will do is any email that has the word unsubscribe in the body text of the email, you can automatically filter it and not hit your inbox. That means all of those marketing emails and special offers, all the emails you probably didn't even sign up for, at the bottom they all say unsubscribe. And all of those emails will now miss your inbox and they can go to a folder of your choice. You can still check that folder, you can still see those emails, but you don't have to mess with them in your main inbox. It's sublime. I'm gonna to choose to skip the inbox and then I'll apply a label and I've created one called newsletters. This way any email that has the word unsubscribe in the body will automatically get filtered into this label and not hit my inbox. Now if you wanna really, really make sure no spam email ever gets to your inbox, you can create another filter and do the words manage email preferences or update email preferences. Now, what if you wanna be able to quickly access that newsletter label that you just created without having to dig through all your email accounts? Well, here's tip number three, where you can create shortcuts to specific email folders in the mail app on your iPhone, iPad, or on the Mac. I'm gonna to go to the mail application again here on my iPad, go back to the list where it shows my accounts and inboxes, and here I'm gonna tap the edit button. Now it's going to expand to show some of the options that I have to display in the sidebar all the time. And if you scroll down, you'll see the add mailbox option. If I tap add mailbox, I can then choose one of my accounts, let's say my Gmail account where I just created that filter, then I can go down and select the mailbox that I want to appear in the sidebar, like newsletters. Hit done, and then you'll see the newsletter folder is here in the left-hand column. Now if it's unchecked, it won't appear in this left sidebar all the time. But when I tap edit and then check it, that folder will be in the sidebar all the time. I can even reorder this to be all the way under the all mailboxes or just to be the top folder that I access. 
hit done, and now my newsletter's mailbox is always right there in the sidebar and I can quickly access it. You can add as many folders as you would like in the sidebar, even from your multiple email accounts. For tip number four, let's do something iOS 16 specific. It's available now for iPhone and will be soon for iPadOS and macOS Ventura, then all your devices can have these features. If I open mail on a device running iOS 16, if I swipe on a message, there's now a remind me feature. If I tap remind me, I can choose one hour tomorrow or remind me later. I can even choose a specific date and time to be reminded. Now, when you choose to be reminded of an email, it doesn't disappear from your inbox. Hopefully Apple changes this behavior. I hope it would act more like the snooze feature in Gmail or Outlook, where the email disappears completely until the date and time that you have set. But instead, what remind me does is it will keep this email in your inbox as you get new email messages, it will go down just like a normal email message. But once the remind me time hits, then it will jump to the top of your inbox and you'll get a notification as if it were a new email message. So remind me later is kind of like snooze, but not exactly. Hopefully it gets more like typical snooze features. The other new feature in iOS 16 is you can choose to send an email at a later time right in the mail application. Once you're done composing an email, tap and hold on the send button. And now you can choose send at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning or choose a specific date and time to send the email. All right, finally, tip number five. If you've had an email sitting in your inbox because you have to sign a document and you're waiting to either bring it into another application or print it out and then rescan it, you don't have to do that. You can add your email signature and reply to the message all without even saving the file to any kind of cloud service. So let's go to an email with an attachment that we need to sign. This is a PDF that I got as an attachment. If I tap it, it'll open the PDF and then tap the pencil icon here in the top toolbar. Then when this pops up, hit the plus icon and you'll see the option for a signature. If you don't have any pre-made signatures, you can choose to add a signature right here and then you can save a signature to be used later. You can even hit the plus icon to add another signature to keep saved and these will actually sync across your devices. You'll be able to use the signature in preview on your Mac or on your iPad and iPhone, other devices sync to your iCloud account. We can do a doctor style signature and just kind of scribble there. Hit done, and now that signature has been saved and it will add it to the PDF. I can drag it where I want, even resize it so it looks legit. Now once I have the signature and hit done, I can actually choose to reply all to the previous sender and not even have to save this document to my device. If I hit reply, it will automatically create a new email to the sender with the signed document attached. I can just hit send and now I've returned that signed document without ever messing with a file. So those are five tips on helping you manage mail on your iPhone, iPad, and your Mac. If you have any questions on what I talked about, leave a comment below this video. I'd love to answer you there. And subscribe to the Bearded Teacher channel. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. I've been doing lots of productivity and how-to videos, again, for iPhone, iPad, or the Mac. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.